Hello everybody and welcome to Casual Encounters, the show about dating, love, sex, and everything in between. And I do mean everything! Now let me introduce my first guest, someone who is no stranger to strange sex and relationships, my good buddy Ryan! Hey Ryan, welcome hey, to the show. Hey Pete, how's good it going man? You. How's it going? <laughs> So this so is a pretty think? this yeah. is a pretty cool setup, man. I like this uh, this new farm. Yeah, Hopefully we can, you know, um, come up with some some insight between the two of us, you know, on how you know how to better our relationships and so about self improvement. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing in particular that bothers me is I feel like, I, as a guy, like guys have to put a lot of effort to. Uh, you know, get girls interested, it seems like, and girls just have to walk by and look pretty and be like, hey, big boy, why don't you come on over here? And, uh, you know... They say that to you? Hey, big boy? Why don't you one of my here? fantasies, they say. But <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, I was like, why do we have to show up for saying that stuff to you? <laughs> <laughs> shit, because, you know, that rarely happens to me. Yeah, I mean, granted, sometimes I go into the bar and, you know, some girl will be like, um, where's the, um, Where's the door? And I'm like standing right fucking next to oh, it. Oh man. You know, and like, yeah, sometimes five minutes after that I'll be making out uh on the on the bar with her and my buddy's going like, Oh my gosh, this guy has the most like craziest game I've ever seen in my life, you know? And, you know, and sometimes you go out a lot and, you know, none of them look too, twice at you. So you know? hit so or miss sometimes. It's very yeah. hit or miss, and especially in Southern yeah. California. Sometimes you're Tim Tebow, sometimes you're Ryan Leaf. I don't think we're meant for that, you know? I don't think we're meant to just settle on that kind of stuff. And, yeah, like, in instances, yeah, I can go, you know, I, I think in, in Southern California, you can go to a bar and you can pick up a girl and you go home with her that night. And the next day, she's a totally different girl, you know? You're like, what? You know? And <laughs> flake out. Yeah, they're very flaky. What's up with you girls? Why are you doing that? I don't know. You know, stop taking those drugs or whatever <laughs> you do, you know? Oh, they're man. flaky as shit. I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is. Is it Southern California? Is it, like, the water we drink here or something like that? It's, like, yeah, it's pretty bad, yeah. you know? But, uh, but anyway, I just, I, I think it's, it's, uh... It's a lot of a lot of effort you got to do. Yeah. You know, what is that thing you say about golf? Oh, golf. Well, it's almost like, um, you know, golf reminds me a lot about sex because it's like, you know, you got to travel this far distance just to get to a little hole. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it really is kind of like that. It's like that, you know. And, and uh, some some girls, it's like basketball, and you're, uh, you know, shooting the free throw. Some girls, it is easy, but it's uh, like I said, uh, you know, like you were saying, um. A lot of times, the girls that are easy, they're usually not very attractive, or as I like to call them, a UBE. Ugly, but easy. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, you know, there's another saying, uh, the odds are pretty good, but the goods are pretty odd. You know, and uh, sometimes... <laughs> I've life, never heard of that <laughs> one before, you well, know? I mean, sometimes in life, you do, uh, you don't want to settle for less, you know, you do want to have standards, you know, like... When it comes to, uh, you know, Raisin Bran, you know, I'll take the, uh, the generic brand. It doesn't have to be Kellogg's, but, you know, when it comes to women, I like a little bit of quality, a little bit of class. Who doesn't? A little know? bit of tits, a little bit of ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all like that, you yeah. know, especially me. But, um, <laughs> but, you know what, you're right. I think that it's hard to find quality, yeah. you know, nowadays. You know, I... I, I strive for that. Like, say, for example, you know, if a really hot girl, you know, like that, wants to date a, you know, a kind of a Joe Schmo uh -huh. kind of guy, you know, you kind of get what I'm saying? You know, I should be dating supermodels then, you know, because supermodels should go for someone that's like, you know, a little less better looking than them, you know, not saying I'm you know, the king of the earth, but I'm saying, you know, like, you know, if those kind of girls date those kind of guys, you know, what should I be dating? So it kind of gives you a little insight into that, you know, and there's a lot of Joe Schmoes out there. What do you think about that? Oh, they certainly are. Yeah. Won't deny that. Yeah. 
is because like sometimes you get so frustrated you go ah okay I'll just settle for this girl you know yeah. but that's one thing that I have liked you know is yeah you have your ups and downs and stuff like that but you kind of have to you kind of have to like stick with it you have to freaking get back on that fucking horse you know what I mean <laughs> because these fucking chicks will tear you up down here you know they're fucking yeah. terrible and you know uh, the timing of things is so important that uh, I remember one time when I was younger I was like 20 and um I saw this girl at the taco shop, and then I was like, I was into her and stuff, cute blonde girl and stuff, and then I saw her later, half an hour later at the beach, yeah. and I, um, this is really embarrassing, but like, I wanted to talk to her, but I was like real nervous and uh, shy at the time, so I, uh, I walked around her, she was just like knee deep in the water, standing in the water, mm -hmm. and then I could tell she was uncomfortable, because her arms are folded, but like, you know how, uh, you know, as guys, we have wishful thinking, but I was just thinking, like, oh, she's just cold because, you know, she's in the water. She's not, like, folding her arms because of anything I was doing. Yeah. And uh, so I literally circled around her, like, three times, like some sort of fucking vulture or something, <laughs> you know, I mean, totally creeping her out. Yeah. And that's not even the worst part. And then, you know, what I said was, I was like, so, I saw you at the taco shop. I mean, talk about creepy. I mean... You know, she didn't know that I was, uh, just happened to be going to the beach for all she knew. You know, I could have been a total soccer just following after and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, well, you, long story short, you know, I asked for her number and stuff. And, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you could figure out, uh, you know, I didn't get it and stuff. But, like, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, sometimes you got to act in the moment. Because, like, maybe if I did just talk to her in the taco shop, you know, I would have actually had a chance. But you know, doing the things that I did and stuff after the fact, you know, it's pretty yeah. funny, the story is like, you know, if, uh, if you just, like, come in doing something like that and it makes it look like you're following them, like, yeah. you know, you gotta have the whole thing, you know, one of my favorite sayings, they always say in real estate, it's all about location, 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 but when it comes to dating, it's all about casual, casual, casual. And, uh, yeah, if you go following after a girl and it's so obvious that you're there just to see her, like, it just Obviously. looks bad, you know? Yeah, because, like, why do these girls go out? You know, why do they go out and look all nice and stuff like that, you know? Well, a lot of them they're are like, just a big tease. They're yeah, like they're like, mention. you know, they're like the singers at the frickin' barbecue. You know, they sing, but then they don't eat the meat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it's, it's like, interesting metaphor, yeah, eh? yeah. But, you know, it's just like, but, you know, I think that, you know. You're saying don't go to Phil's Barbecue if you're a fucking vegetarian. Yeah, don't go to fucking Phil's Barbecue if you're a fucking vegetarian. You That's know what point. I mean? Yeah, good, excellent point. You know, so it's like, and it, it's hard not to be creepy. I mean, there's like texting and stuff like that. Yeah. What the fuck is up with this texting and shit? I hate, number one, I'm just going to tell everybody out, out there, I fucking hate texting, you know? Because, you know, you say something to a girl or whatever, and then all of a sudden she's like, oh my god, I really want to know what's going on in the other side of the texting. You know, what is she really thinking? That you is know, if point. you say like, hey, you know, um, let's hang out or let's do this. Totally casual. Like you said, casual, 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 right? You know, we say, hey, let's hang out to a girl. And she's like, oh, what should I wear? What should I do? You know, blah, blah, blah. Is he stalking me? Oh my gosh, this is the, You know, women are like 100% different creatures than us. Totally yeah, it's different. just like uh, that book, uh, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Personally, I don't think we're even from the same galaxies. Yeah, I don't think so. Fuck. You know, like, I have no idea. Still, I mean, like, I've been dating for a while. You know, I still fucking can't figure out what they're thinking. You know? So it just we played this guessing game through text and stuff like that. What happened to the days where we used to just like call each other up and say, "Hey, what are you doing right now?" And if the chick doesn't answer, she's not into you, and you go on to the next one, you know. But nowadays, you got this week or two or three, you know, where you're texting back and forth. Hi, how was your day? Blah blah blah. This and that. You know, I don't know. I love that line and freaking Pulp Fiction, where he's on a date with Uma Thurman, and she was like, okay, let's just skip all the fucking bullshit we're going to talk about, and you're just going to come over to my house, you know? I mean, yeah, it's fun to date, it's fun to go outside, but...
Come on, sometimes. Wouldn't you like something like that to happen? That would be great, I think. Well, I think there are girls like that, but they're called prostitutes. The dating game is really uh, difficult, but I think that's that's the reason why, uh, you know, you should do this show. Is like, yeah. you know, yeah, we don't have all the answers, but we can fucking help you guys out. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> kind of ran out of steam there. That was a good run, though. Dude, that was freaking great. Uh, well, thanks for coming on the show, Ryan. That's all the time we have for today. So, if you, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Casual Encounters. And this party is just getting started. Um, you definitely don't want to miss the next episode. It's going to be a great one. See you next time.